Hey guys, Danny here. Welcome to Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we are going to be doing the beautiful Rebellion Tarot. Be sure to stay tuned after the walkthrough for our midweek reading. And if you're looking to contact me, all my links are below in the description where you can find my Instagram, email, Etsy, where you can book a personal reading, Patreon, and much, much more. So be sure to check those out and I will see you on the other side. So let's start off with giving Robin L. Cole some big props. The presentation of this deck is beautiful. You can see the tag. She also hand stamped all the boxes, put the ribbon, got the wax seal. Inside I have 142 out of 300 in which she signed. She also included with this a little cheat sheet which is super convenient if you want to just kind of get like oh like ace potential kind of idea. But she also included a full guidebook that you can pull up online which i love it also came with this bag nicely lined pretty red bag and like i said the presentation and opening it was amazing as far as the size goes they're exactly the typical tarot size so no complaints there and it also has this nice linen finish which i absolutely adore in a deck um, so let's move right into the artwork. This artwork is beautiful. She's got a lot of John William Waterhouse pictures in here, um, paintings, and I absolutely love that artist. It's one of my favorites, especially for this uh, kind of medieval vibe. I absolutely love it. But if I had to say something negative about this deck it would be that some of the images are not of the highest quality so there are some that are a little bit blurry i'll show a couple of those at the end it's not terrible like it's not super distracting if you have one that's kind of blurry in the you know scope of your reading it's not that kind of blurry but if you're looking at them and you're you're looking close there are some that are blurry um, the only other thing I would say is just the color and font of the um, the titles of the cards. I'm just not a fan. That's just a personal thing. I'm not a huge fan of the yellow. I understand why she did it because it did show up on every card that she put it on. But it's, I'm just not a fan. And that's just a personal preference. Nothing wrong with it. It's very clear, very easy to see. So again, that's just a personal thing. Another note I will make, there are men in this deck, however, the kings and I believe the emperor are females. So that's a thing. I know some people really don't like that. I don't mind it because it's all about the energy that's being portrayed, right? So that's not a big issue for me, but I know that some people feel like that's a deal breaker and so I just feel like I should warn. <laughs> But on to shuffling. So again, linen finish. It's got such a great card stock, you guys. It shuffles like butter. I absolutely adore this card stock. And there's the backs, which kind of look like a tapestry. So here, I don't know how good it's going to come across in the video, but these are uh, just a couple of the blurry ones. There's only a handful, really. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, so that just kind of proves that it's not super distracting, but it is there. So on to my favorites. These three are all John William Waterhouse paintings. So my major is going to be The Magician because I love this painting so much. This is the witch's circle. It just immediately takes me to that ritualistic as above so below kind of vibe my fave for my court cards it is the queen of cups which is my card i like to say and i love this powerful woman sitting on this throne with the cup in her hand it just it gives me all the feels and for my minor arcana i chose the three of cups because i love the look of these three women I like the tone almost like it's dusk and they're all been preparing for this part of the day they've come together and it still has that celebration but it also has purpose and I love the purpose of this one so these are my favorites all right with this beautiful rebellion tarot 
I want to do a reading for us this week about how can I do the most good, right? What do I need to put forth my effort toward to do the most good for myself and others this week? Let's see what wants to come out. Today we have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, right away I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is always the one that's the most still, right? And even seeing her here with her mirror, she's just slow moving, kind of taking it all in. She's looking in that mirror really in the moment. So I feel like to do the most good and to be in that energy at the end of the week, what we really need to do is try to focus on being in the present. And I know from a lot, from a lot of experience that it's not very easy to remain in the present. It's so easy to worry about what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, what if, what if, what if, maybe this, maybe that, or to play it in the past, like where was I? what's going on what did they do what did i do and it just becomes excruciating in the brain to just like constantly be going backwards and forwards and paying no attention to what's around us so i feel like to do the most good not only for my, ourselves but especially for those around us our children our partners our friends our family being in the present and truly engaging with each other and really paying attention to what's going on around us is really going to be beneficial and it might give everyone a chance to put their devices down and really create something beautiful so i hope that this helps in some way shape or form you guys it was so lovely for you to hang out with me and if you're looking for me as always my links are below let me know what you thought of this deck in the comments i'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Mwah. All my love. Later, Gators.